Down here at the mailbox, I was just told that the house is ready to move back in. Let's find out if it is. Pretty exciting. Five minutes ago that we're ready to move back in the house first thing I gotta do is the important stuff I want to get the Wi-Fi connected get to make sure the toilets work make sure the water works and it does except the phone doesn't work the landline phone doesn't work I don't know why I don't have a clue why it's not working it's just not working hook the switch solar panels back on when the leaves drop, this thing's gonna kick into high gear and get good sun all winter long, generate lots of electricity. This one, no problem. So we got the well pump back in. Another thing went in, no problem. Right here. What I don't know if you saw is above me, I touched a wire trying to figure something out and I got spark real good. Live wire up here, left unconnected. We have no idea what it runs or what it ran from or to. Makes no sense, but it was live. So they're gonna cap it and we're gonna have to wait and see what is wrong or what doesn't work before we know what the hell that thing did. We were given our house back in title only one hour ago. And I'm already exhausted. <laughs> There's so much different now that wasn't there before. Fixtures are gone. Steps are different. It's like you, you it's like opening up your Christmas presents and getting all excited and finding out that you need AA batteries and no stores are open. It's like bittersweet. It's like, yay, we're back in. Oh, look at all the things I have to do now. I got no outlets for things like power tools. They're all gone because they were, they were suspended down on concrete. Um, I got new steps that don't look great, but they'll get the job done. You'll see those in the video. I have open. I have weird wires that no one knows where to connect them to. My telephone doesn't work. Um, I got. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited, but let's be real here. This is really freaking exhausting. I gotta get a haircut. Otherwise, I'd stay here and keep working. Hmm. you were here today. Ah, oh, thanks for coming over. Well, it's perfect timing. Surprising that you guys are actually here, but since you are, this is it. Behind me is a truck with a few things in it. And it is officially the first load of stuff coming back to the house. Tool. It's a uh, timestamp. Time step up here. I don't know. Time step somewhere. Time step both places. And um, and uh, between now and Monday, we have to get the house back to livable condition. So I'm gonna offload this gear. I'm gonna change into some mucky gear because I have to go out in the yard. And I'm gonna rerun the dog fence wire. And my first priority is to get the dog fence wire and everything set up for Jax to come back. So when, on Monday he can come back and be contained again. And then I'm gonna work in the house a little bit. And uh, and then. Uh, Keep going, I guess. So thanks for joining the channel. Thanks for watching the videos. Leave a comment. Uh, give me some motivation to keep going. And uh, here we go. I'm going this way. You guys can stay there unless you want to help.
So, uh, first task today really is to get the dog fence wired. So I'm going to connect it here in a second and test the system and see if it works before I go any farther. Wish me luck. If I plug it in, I should get a number and not a lot of beeping. Fingers crossed. That's not good. Ah. Shit. That is really unfortunate. That could mean that what I've just wired isn't right. I'll double check it. But more likely than not, somewhere in the yard where they've already buried is a dog fence wire that's got a break in it. Crap. All right, I'll report back. Okay, here's the deal. So I have continuity on the stuff I just ran. And I also do not have continuity on a loop that goes around a one and a half acre property. So you saw me replace a little bit of the left side. The rest of the left side is in the back where they didn't disturb. But this right side, they just demolished. And there was at least one place where they broke it and then reburied it. So I've got 150 feet of cable in the woods that I have to replace. And if you can't see her here, it's pouring out. So that really screws up my plans. All right. Now I got to decide whether I'm going to go back out and do this in the rain or I'll wait. I don't know. I don't want to wait. I got too much to do. All right. I'm giving up on this for the day. But I gotta wait till it stops monsooning to get down there. But here's the problem. Come with me. And above me is the shower. We've never had a leak in the shower to the basement before. But the contractor said yesterday that they noticed when they ran the water to test it that there was water coming in the basement. So after finishing the garden, uh, the boundary wire, I thought, well, let me see how bad the leak is. And if you can see that floor, it's soaked with water. So the leak is not a drip any longer. It's more like a, a waterfall. I'd say about half the water going into the basin of the shower is coming down this um, down through this area. So I've got to rip this open and see what the heck's going on up there. You know the bright side? It ain't toilet water. Blech. All right, let's see what we got up here. You guys watch. I'm gonna go turn on water. And let me know what happens. Yeah, this is a lot worse than I was hoping. Oh boy. So, check this out. It's leaking from right here. That. And that is not a small leak. You can literally see it. So, something wrong with this. Yay! Uh, that's my basement. That's my shower drain. Oh, you saw nothing. Suck it. That right there. Punch list. Where is it? There it is. Stupid punch list. That's the slime. All right. Shower drains out. This was. I don't know whether it was welded or press fit. If anybody understands how these Gerbers work, let me know. But that was in there like that, but it wasn't water everywhere as you saw in the previous video. So when we took it apart, we being the guy that's helped me who doesn't want to be on camera, uh, he does all the work and I stand here and look like an idiot. He's watching me right now, be stupid. And over here, they started this construction again. They came out yesterday in the rain, and I started troubleshooting, and I pulled up this line, and sure enough, it's not connected enough to no more. So I've got about 100 feet between here and the front yard that needs to be connected to the area by the driveway. It's a pretty simple fix. I'm going to strip this, 
I'm going to connect it to that. I'm going to run a new line in the woods, and I'm going to connect it over there. And then I should complete the loop, and then the machine should start. So I'm going to get this connected, and then we're going to go from there. does not beep like crazy. If I just get a solid light right here, then we're in good shape. Let's find out. Oh, fingers crossed. I'd like to move on to the next task because there are so many. This is not nearly as fun as I expected it to be, nor as satisfying. Moving stuff back was fine, a couple hours. But nothing's right. Um, a lot of things aren't right. Come here. 